So yeah, if you just saw my video, you know that I'm a virgin. Or if you didn't see it, well, yeah, my penis is still a noob. It's very different from people that are virgins because they can't get with someone. This is actually a decision I've made for myself a long time ago, and it hasn't always been easy. Right now, it's actually pretty easy because I don't go out much. I stay and make videos and work on YouTube and stuff like that. But on different occasions, I've had to actually make the conscious decision to stay away from sex. Not everybody agrees. Some people just like having sex and doing that stuff all the time. But for me, in my mind, in my belief, I don't see it as an activity. I don't see something as you do on a Friday night, you do just because you want to feel the pleasure of it. For me, it's actually a commitment. It's something that means more than that. I feel that when you have sex, you're joining your souls with somebody and it's something you can never really forget after you do it. This is not a very popular belief in our day, which is why I don't really share it all the time. Another reason I don't really share this all the time is because if a girl likes me and she knows that this is important to me, maybe she'll be more likely to lie about her virginity. Because, you know, with my ex-girlfriend, I asked her if she was a virgin and she said yes, but I always had this little doubts and you know we broke up and about a year later she was pregnant and now she's married so there's that but you know it's not like if you're not a virgin it's like oh get out of here I don't, I don't even want to look at you I don't even want to consider having a relationship with you no we can't always get what we want it's just that it is important to me it would be nice that since I am making this big sacrifice that the girl I end up with has also made this sacrifice because I'm not really making this sacrifice for myself I am making this sacrifice for God and for my future wife. Because even though a lot of guys just want to have sex for their own pleasure, and yes, when I have sex, I will want it for my own pleasure as well. But it will be very, very important to me to also give pleasure to my wife. I really, really, really want her to have an enjoyable time. And you know, it's very hard to do that if you're right there thinking, oh, well, you know, the last vagina was a bit smaller, but uh, I guess this size will do. And you know that's a bit of an exaggeration but I've had conversations and read books and articles about people who've had sex with other people and it's just something that sticks with you every time you have sex with somebody you take a part of them and they take a part of you even if you don't realize it it's happening also for me sex would be a bonus it's just not something you based your whole relationship in so I just throw that idea out the window that you have to have sex with somebody before you're married because you don't know if you're gonna be sexually compatible but sex should always be a bonus not what your relationship is based Upon. And if you really love someone and you have a good communication and you're willing to make changes to please your partner, there should be no reason why you would be having problems in the bedroom. Communication and talking to each other, that should be more important. The rest comes after. But I do understand that it's a very hard thing in this society to stay a virgin and that a lot of you don't even want to do that. I wish everybody would want to do that, but I also understand people have different opinions. All I'm asking is that you respect mine and that you respect the people that place a higher value and virginity like I said. I will not respect you if you pressure somebody into doing something they are not ready to do. Just because you don't think it's important, you shouldn't think it's stupid for other people to do. I would actually rather end up with somebody who's not a virgin anymore but who lost their virginity because they were so tempted that they failed but they still held a high importance on what sex actually means than ending up with somebody who's still a virgin just because she can't get with somebody. But you still think that sex is is just another activity she could be doing instead of playing tic-tac-toe. But yeah, if you're a virgin by choice, you definitely have some respect from me because it's definitely not an easy task. But all in all, I love you all the same. Like I said, my best friends, none of them are virgins. I know that at least two of them wish they had waited at least a bit longer. And some of my other good friends, they just like having sex and good for them. But this is me and my opinion and I hope you still love me like I still love you little case. Have a great day. Tell me what you think about it. I, we have different opinions. We can discuss. It can make a good discussion. You know, I love you. You love me. I hope so. This is what relationships are based on. So let's have a conversation. Have a great day. I have all the videos ready for March. That's amazing. Thank you for all your support. I will be in my surgery and I don't know when I'll be able to make a new video. But I have all my main videos for March and my Spanish channel videos ready. So theoretically I shouldn't be missing any videos because hopefully I'll be fine by the time I run out of videos to post. But thank you for your amazing support. You're like no one else and if you can share my channel with other people I would really appreciate it. I'm just trying to grow and really show my parents that this can actually be a good career for me. So help me out with that. And if you're my parents, I'm still a virgin. <laughs> See you later, crocodile.